Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were trying to get this Sith prisoner to give us some info, and, uh, it wasn't going so well. You're back. At all. Do you want to really. interrogate the prisoner? Yes, let's, uh, try doing it again. Let's because get it started then. All we can do. It's up to you to per try to persuade him to talk with you now. Um, let's... Mm, let's try. That's all we can do is try. At this point, I have not done pretty well with it. So, here's hoping. Boy, what do you want? Uh, relax. Huh. You lies. You work for the Republic. Well, maybe, but we're the only ones who will take you in now. The Sith will never trust you again, Spy. We're the only place you have left. Tell us what we want to know. Never. I am Sith. I will never betray them. Uh, Your Republic okay. is weak. So, I'm going to skip through these, because we did them a lot in the last episode. But you think we're going we... to keep Please. trying what? different avenues. What? And, uh, here's hoping that it'll work out. Never believe we let the Sith are... Mm. Nothing you could... The gutless Sith... Ha! Ah, this... Damn it. Okay. What? The teeth... Uh... Ha! You... Damn! <laughs> Interrogate him. You're not. Yes. There. There's nothing you can do. Okay, come on. The Sith will never trust me. But they... Ha, worth my while. Why? Yeah, they, they would kill you. Um... What? Of course, they would never... Be All right. All right. I'll tell you what you want. Whoa, okay, What's that worked. What's the passcode to the Sith base? It's... It's Zeta 2456988 Alpha. Just no more. Good. With this pass, you should be able to get into the Sith base without trouble. Just well, don't too okay. Long or they might learn that he's been captured. I just needed three successes in a row, is what the problem was. Okay. Well, um, that takes care of that. Um. Wonder where this door goes. Restricted access. Okay, well. Big something that I'm not allowed to touch. Okay. Lorgal is sitting right there. Yeah, I should slice the computer. Reprogram cage to kill prisoner. Prisoner termination sequence set to engage in 10 seconds. Whoops. Logging off. Bye bye. It strikes me now, I shouldn't have had them with me while I did that. Oops. <laughs> oh, jeez, my side went so far down. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's gone so far down. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. Got something on your mind, do you? you mentioned something about your adventure. <laughs> Let's just take his mind off the topic. Uh, you mentioned something about your adventuring days. Did I say that? Strange the trick's memory plays on you when you get older. So you weren't an adventurer. Didn't I say that my past was my affair? You don't see me poking and prodding you with questions, do you? You're just not used to the company. Stop being an old coot. I might be, but a mouthy young thing like yourself shouldn't get to call me an old coot, damn it. And besides, you but don't I really can't want know. to hear about me. We're talking ancient history. Probably before you were born. History bores kids. Proven fact. No, it don't. That ain't proven fact, you liar. Well, 
Old people love to talk about history. Proven fact. Oh, fine, fine. Have it your way. Just don't cry about it later. All right. Yes, yes, I was an adventurer. Yay. Happy now? I wasn't even done with my Jedi training back then. I had a full head of hair and an eagerness to see absolutely everything. Oh, yeah? Sound familiar? The council was never happy with willful, brash Jolie Bindo, you see. Even less so when I began my smuggling career. You were a smuggler. Don't look at me like that, damn it. I wasn't always the wrinkled coot I am now, you know. I can still fight, too. So wipe off that smirk I see there. At the time, the Yukata system was interdicted by its own king. He preferred to keep his people starving and poor. All the better to oppress them. Uh... The Senate was trying to negotiate a peace. But they were getting nowhere as usual. I decided I wasn't going to wait. I found myself a ship and a partner. And we began smuggling food and supplies to the Yukata citizenry through the blockade. I see. So technically it was a good sort of smuggling. I see. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Where did you get the credits for all the supplies? Well, we didn't buy all the equipment per se. Some were happy to donate goods. Some we just uh, knew had more than they could use. So you stole it. Stole is such a harsh word. <laughs> they would have donated those goods readily enough if they were compassionate. I considered it a tax on the greedy. <laughs> a lone Yukatish frigate shot us down and forced a crash landing. I thought the force had abandoned me, as I remember. <laughs> what happened then? Well, as it happens, getting shot down turned out to be very fortunate. That day was the day I... That was the day you what? Well, that, that was the day I met my wife. Your wife? You were married. You know another way to get a wife? <laughs> yes. That's when I met her. I, uh, yeah, arranged marriage? Time, I prefer to stop talking now. My mouth is starting to draw flies. Ooh, your mouth is starting to draw flies. I don't believe you. But, um... Wow, he was married. Got Jolie to talk a little about his adventuring days, and during his tale, he mentioned the fact that he had a wife. He didn't want to talk about her, but you might be able to ask him about it later, once you gained more experience. Which we're definitely going to do. He was married. <laughs> do you know any other way to get a wife? <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, technically all involved marriage, yeah. Arranged marriage. Spontaneous marriage. Shotgun wedding. <laughs> does that the shotgun wedding count as an arranged marriage if it's at gunpoint probably okay. <laughs> okay well hey you got married how about that all right how about uh jihani how may i be of assistance to you padawan uh, i was wondering if we could talk what is it you would like to speak to me about oh i can't talk Okay, well, uh, I'm going to have to have both of y'all disappear a little bit. Sorry. There we go. All right. Jolie was married. Married. Okay. All right. Okay, well, it's time for me to go to... Where our buddy is. I don't think you're here. Or are you? Oh, wait. Yes, you are. You are here. Welcome back, Farron Khan. I see you have come alone. This is good. I assume you are here to discuss the business of the Gino Haradin. I could talk about everyone I've killed so far. Lorgal is dead. Yes, Farron Khan. The agents I sent to watch you have reported back to me concerning Lorgal's death. You should take pride in the job well done. And as promised, here is your reward for the task. A poisoned vibroblade forged exclusively for the use of those within our guild. It will serve you well, I am sure. Is there anything else, Ferencon? Uh, Vorn Dasrad is dead. Well done, Ferencon. And as promised, here is your reward. A Gino Haradin stealth unit. You'll find it is far superior to most. 
Thorn's death brings you closer to completing your initiation into the Gino Haradan, Baron Khan. However, until you have completed all your missions, you cannot be accepted into the guild. Is there anything else, Baron Khan? How about Rulan Prolik, his death? What does that mean for you? I must congratulate you. Rulan was no easy target. I will admit that you are not the first to be sent after him, though you are the only one to succeed. Here, take this Juno Harad advisor. Many of our agents use them to increase their senses and improve their skills. It really is quite an extraordinary item. Born Rulan Itharak. That is all of them. You have done it, Farrakhan. I hardly dreamed it was possible, yet now the task is done. All the years of planning, spying, and digging to discover their true identities. It was all worth it. Now the Gina Haradin are mine alone. I kind of knew this was going to happen. What are you talking about? Poor, foolish Farron Khan. You had no idea that the targets I sent you after were the three of the overseers of the Juno Haradin, did you? The overseers have always acted in secret, their true identities hidden from the guild and even each other to prevent one person from seizing control of the entire guild. But now they are dead, and I am the only overseer left in the guild. All the agents of the Gino Haradin are mine to command, and I couldn't have done it without your help, Farron Khan. You used me. I'm sorry, Farron Khan. Even after all you have done for me, I cannot let you join the Gino Haradin now. You are far too dangerous. You know the true identity of the only surviving overseer. I suppose I could try to have you eliminated, but I have seen your skill in dispatching the other overseers. I think it would be in both our best interests if we were simply to part ways. I don't know about that. I was afraid it would come to this. Very well. We will finish this as these things always seem to end, in bloodshed. But the streets of Manan are no place for this confrontation. Meet me in the Dune Sea, Farron Khan. There we will engage in a ritual battle according to the customs of my guild, just you and me. Goodbye, Farron Khan. I will wait for you in the Dune Sea. I don't need you to remind you that this you must come alone. If you do not, then you won't see me, and your revenge will never take place. I told him straight up I'm not going to let this happen, and I guess the Gino Haradin dies with him. Because he decided to play me. Also, to reiterate, I did kind of know a little bit that that was going to happen. Gina Harad and Visor. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's so ugly. Oh, come on, man. Okay. All the last bits of the fucking last bits suck oh man well I guess I gotta go back to the dune sea to finish this little quest off I knew that he was sending us after the other overseers apparently he tried to do it uh, discreetly and using an agent of the Gino Harada but uh Apparently, they all knew it was probably going to happen. This is kind of what they do. But, uh, yeah, it was, it's kind of a fucked up quest. <laughs> kind of a fucked up little bit of things. Who last has played you for a fool? One of the four leaders of the Gino Harad, and he used you to eliminate the other three, giving him sole control of the guild. But you still have a chance for revenge. Hulas has promised to meet you in the Dune Sea of Tatooine for a final showdown. As with all the business of Gina Haradin, you must do this without the help of your friends. Which is why we're doing it in the Dune Sea, so I can't call my friends in. Oops, I hit the wrong button. That's fine. I meant to go here, so I can go back to the Ebon Hawk. And now we go back. 
Tatooine once again. I guess that's uh, all we can do. All right. Uh, but, uh, there we go. Tattooing. Oh, the backtrack is going to take so long. Oops. Okay, incoming fighters. Incoming fighters. Okay, well, <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Got you. Oh, you little shit. Got you. Oh, come on. I'm better than this. Ow, oh, the sun's blinding me. Son of a bitch. Got you. Come on. I should have killed you. Got you anyway. All right, and then the last one is over here. There we go. Now I got you. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. Okay. Doing the buttons trick. Apparently move them around a little bit. They should not have been there. Okay. And we get out of here. Oh, the backtracking. Oh, the backtracking. Alrighty. Anchor head. There we go. And we have to go all the way to the Dune Sea. This will take a long fucking time. <laughs> What the what? What what was I stuck on? What? <laughs> uh old janky games. Gotta love the weird shenanigans. Okay. Well Now we end this once and for all. Although now I think about it, I wanna make sure I have all of the, uh, oh, the poison blade. That is pretty good. It's attack modifier. Forged by the Gina Haradin for the exclusive use of their agents. This deadly assassin's blade contains a canister that emits small doses of poison with each successful hit on an opponent. And, wow, that adds plus eight to stealth. Holy shit. The assassins of the Gino Haradin work in absolute secrecy, thanks to items such as this highly advanced stealth unit. Gino Haradin Visor uh, does plus three to saves, reflex, and then adds to awareness and demolitions. These visors hone the Gino Haradin's agent's senses, making them vir virtually impossible to catch unaware. The enhanced awareness also increases the agent's effectiveness in combat in setting delicate, complex explosives. So, hanger key. Um, utility items. I just wanted to make sure if I had advanced med packs. I do. I have a good number of them. Because uh, I will need them. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I had them. Okay. Or at least had a decent number of them. Hmm? Oh, it's you again. Good yes, it is. Out there. Yep, good hunting to me. Uh, oh! You son of a bitch. I knew you weren't going to be trustable. <laughs> I knew you, we couldn't trust you. I knew I couldn't trust you at all. 
You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Wow. Okay. Um. And you need? Uh, I need... Uh, you to do all of this. There we go. Your what? wish? Why am I not surprised? They're all Rodians. Except for one... One human? You are here, Farron Khan, but I see you did not come alone. I see you brought some friends as well, Hulas. I see you were too much of a coward to come alone. You shouldn't be surprised. You saw how I manipulated and betrayed my fellow overseers. You should know that Gino Haradan seek every advantage we can get. I had hoped you would be gullible enough to show up alone, but obviously I underestimated you. Although I see from their expressions that your friends have no clue what is going on here. Not that it matters. If I win here, what you know of the Gino Haradan will die here with you. If you win, the guild will vanish until they select new overseers. If they even survive. Three, uh, uh, three of the overseers out of the four are dead. Time to finish the job. The other overseers were alone and unprepared. I am ready for you. And I have friends. Goodbye, Farron Khan. Our time together was interesting. Brothers of the Gina Haradan, attack! Okay. Well, I should probably... Jump in here. They do not survive well at all, really. Well. Um. They will not survive all of this. That is for damn sure. This actually might be... A bit of an easy fight. Jane Khan. Jane Khan. The fuck? It's weird that someone with my same last name shows up. Okay. There we go. Well, time to loot all of them. Got a bunch of frag grenades there. Bunch of credits and a blaster. Adrenal. Guy who shared my last name. Another poison blade. Another advanced med pack and a bunch of credits. Environmental shield, which is really mainly for droids. And let's see what you left me, Hulas. 500 credits, a life support pack, and mesh armor. They are probably very confused, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright, let's see. The mesh adds to stealth and dexterity. On top of allowing a max dexterity of plus five. As opposed to what I'm currently wearing. Ah, oh, what I'm currently wearing is actually pretty good. Um, resistance against fire, immunity to mind affecting. Although I think that's... I think some of that is what I've added to it already. Hard to say. But... This perfectly balanced armor provides maximum protection without hampering uh, Gina Haradan's agent ab agent's ability to stalk his prey in total secrecy. Yeah, that's pretty good. Not gonna lie, that's pretty good. And that ended up being a fight. <laughs> I had a feeling that I was going to need to bring my buddies. But I had a, also had a feeling that if I didn't bring them along, I was going to get annihilated. But I was like, eh, I'll be, 
on the side of caution. I'm just happy that they allowed me the brief second to bring them in before the fight started. Had that not given me the brief second to do that, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> but as it was, they, uh, the rest of them were pushovers, so it wasn't actually that hard. It's kind of nice. And I, I didn't actually see. Did that also lower my light? Uh, not really, but mine's already still pretty low. So I guess I have to make up for it with all the other missions I have to do today. Today, well, in general. Okay. Well, that worked out. Just gather your party. Oh, come on. Jahani. There we go. Much better. Okay. Onward we go. To the Evan Hawk. And we move onward. I just noticed this armor looks a little different than the one I just had on because of this little back thing here. Interesting. Is that enough experience that maybe we can talk? What is it you would like? Nope. Okay. All right. Well, it's worth a shot. Okay, we go back to Manan. There we go. strikes me now I didn't check in on Griff when I probably should have. <clears throat> and on top of that, now we're in a starfighter battle again. Yep, the fighters. Well, I got a couple of them. I got you. Gonna get you in a second. Got you. Oh, geez. I'm blinded by that sun every time. Okay. out okay and that did that I wonder can I talk to the rest of them maybe uh, that's supplies I don't need that <laughs> um, can I talk to you about your wife maybe mentioned something about your wife before I don't Want to talk about that. <laughs> I don't mean to pry, but... Yes, you do. You may mean well enough, but my private affairs are just that. Private. Let me tell you something. Once you've lived as many years as I have, you'll have yourself a long, long list of memories. If you're lucky, most of them will be good. If you're not, some will be bad. If you're really unlucky, some will be so bad you never want to be reminded of them again, ever. You'll go far away, to a place that doesn't hold any memories at all. And there you'll be happy just to forget and be forgotten. Is that why you went to Kashyyyk? <laughs> Partly. Maybe. I doubt I could ever explain it to you fully, even if I wanted to. Let me ask you this. Have you ever been in love? Truly in love, I mean, and not simple infatuation. Well... Exactly. You're still at the beginning of your life. There will be women in your life. Perhaps many women. 
But if you're fortunate, perhaps many you find love <laughs> once. The Jedi, with their damnable sense of overcaution, would tell you love is something to avoid. Thankfully, anyone who's even partially alive knows that's not true. Aren't you worried about the dark side at all? Love doesn't lead to the dark side. Passion can lead to rage and fear and can be controlled. But passion is not the same thing as love. Controlling your passions while being in love, that's what they should teach you to beware. But love itself will save you, not condemn you. Uh, listen to me go on as if I had all the answers. What do I know of love anymore? I'm just a lonely old man who's not even a Jedi. No, I want to hear what you have to say. You do, do you? I wouldn't listen too closely. I'm no authority on anything. I just think that the greatest things in life shouldn't be avoided because they come with a few complications. Love causes pain, certainly. Inevitably, love is going to lead to as much sorrow and regret as it does joy. I suppose there are perfect eternal loves out there, but I haven't seen any. And how do you deal with the bad part of love is what determines your character. What determines the dark side's hold over you? So what happened between you and your wife, then? I haven't changed my mind. I'm still not going to talk about it. You go and find your own love if you want to know so badly. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you and the one you love simply aren't meant to be together. The trick is to know when that is. To know when it's time to fight and when it's time to part ways. <laughs> there I go, waxing philosophical again. Somebody blast me already. Let's get going before I start talking in riddles, damn it. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think I see what he's getting at. Talked a little about his wife and why he didn't agree to the Jedi credo that love should be forbidden. He spoke of the Jedi with a great deal of bitterness, in fact. You might be able to ask him about it later once you've gained more experience. Could that possibly be now? Uh, can you make a healing kit? I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Ah, huh. didn't expect to get anything. Oh, he gives me an advanced med pack. Does he? Or does he give me a life support pack? It's hard to say, because all of these are new items anyway. Hmm. Well, let's uh, get out of that and let's gotcha. check that. How many could you possibly need? Okay. And besides, I don't have enough supplies on me to put some more together. Ask me later right. when you're actually in need and I'm less tired. I'm not a kit factory, you know. Okay, all right. Fair enough. Got something on you. Uh, tell me about Sunri. How do you know him? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunri for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer? Oh, mm -mm. I can't see it. That's not the Sunri I know. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too, or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Okay, well, that does make sense with what I know, so. Well, you know what, let's go around and talk Yeah, to what do you want? Uh, you don't have anything Your for choice. me. So fair enough. Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Fair enough. Uh, I would like to try restoring some of your memory. Affirmative. If you believe your skills are up to the task, Master, then I can certainly guide you through the process. Request. Okay. I only ask that you be oh so very careful, Master. I am too valuable and well-crafted to perish at the hands of ineptitude. Are you implying that I am inept? Negatory. Uh, no, Master. 
you are not uh, no. however, and therefore your skills are limited by the physical capabilities of your meatbag extremities, or some such. I happen to be very good at what I do. Appeasement. Yes, master. Of course, master. Could we begin? Thanks for the appeasement tagline. Okay, let's get started. Statement. As you wish, master. You are already familiar with accessing my central control cluster, correct? Now you will need to... And now rewire the last three relays. Yes, good. Well done, Master. Ooh, yeah. I believe Managed your operation it. was a success. Accessing new memory. Access complete. I have accessed information on my owner prior to the Senator, Master. Most unexpected. What now? Answer. It appears that previous to my ownership by the Senator, I was the property of one Bochaba the Hutt on the planet Slaheron. So you were a gangster's assassin droid. Statement. So it appears, Master. A rather suitable occupation, would you not agree? Yeah. My memories tell me that, for a time, Bochaba was one of the most feared gangsters on Slaheron. I helped him with this reputation greatly. I'm Over sure. Over a span of one year, I terminated a grand total of 322 sentient meat bags. These contracts made Bochaba very wealthy. Wow. That is a lot of meat bags. You... And what, uh, what happened to stop that? It was unfortunate but inevitable that eventually Bochaba would overstep his bounds. I had just cleared two hut households when the exchange retaliated. Statement. I was not even present when my old master was assassinated. I did appreciate the artistry behind his demise upon my return, however. Hmm. You don't even mourn your master? I mean, probably not yet. Why? How he, was he killed? Answer. Allow me to say that I have little doubt that residents of that sector were fishing pieces of bochaba out of their soup for weeks afterward. Ugh. At any rate, I quickly shut down upon my master's death. The rival hut claimed me along with my master's other possessions. Observation. If that hut had only known my true function, he surely would not have sold me to a senator he bribed regularly. You would have preferred to stay on Slaheron. Observation. It would have suited my character, Master. I guess. I have enjoyed my existence since, more or less. So, I do not miss it. You would have been found out, eventually. Observation. No doubt, Master. It would have been a glorious battle to end my existence with. I would prefer that to rusting on a junk heap. Oi. Do you remember anything else? Answer. Negative, Master. There is still more memory that can be restored, however, if you wish to try. As well, I believe I can restore several programs the Hut installed to improve my performance. Yes, they are now active. Contemplative. Hmm. I wonder how many more dead Masters I might have out there. A droid can live for a long time, you know. Nice. Because of your repairs, HK-47 will now regenerate at a rate of one vitality point every six seconds in addition to his other abilities. An auto repair. That's pretty damn good. Statement. Especially for a robot. Let's see if I uh, can restore some more of that memory. Affirmative. Request. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Statement. As you wish, Master. You are already familiar with accessing my central control cluster, correct? Yeah, let's try it. Now close the last panel. Hmm. I am afraid the operation did not succeed, Master. Though it was a valiant attempt for a meatbag. Supplication. Perhaps it would be best if you desisted your efforts for the moment, meat. I mean, Master. This seems to be going nowhere. Hmm. Very well, we'll do this later. As you desire, Master. I cannot help but claim a small amount of relief. Signing off. I'm not surprised. Well, I gave it a shot. All right. Uh, a whole bunch of lightsabers that I could be upgrading. 
What was this green again? I forget. Yeah. Can I change color on this? Violet wouldn't be bad. Violet wouldn't be bad. Um, I don't know who has the other green lightsaber. Ugh, okay. Baka's ceremonial blade. Mission's vibro blade. Yeah, okay. Salbar's bowcaster. Just upgradable. But not in any way that's worthwhile. Yeah, okay. Ain't too bad. Armor. That, I did upgrade it. Okay. Oh, so that upgrade already brought it up to... Oh, okay. So the upgrade brought it up to seven. So it matches the other one. And this gave me an immunity to mind affecting. Okay. All right. Well, then I almost have no reason to change my other one. Like at all, really. How may I, be of a... I was wondering oh, if we could talk. Like to... No, we can't. Okay. All right. Well, I gave it a shot. <sighs> well, since we're on Manan. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I want to go back to Tatooine real quick. Just to see if I could check on Griff. I'm not sure if I can, but it's worth a shot. Yeah, I had a feeling. All of this is basically all star battles so far. Oh, come on. Got you, at least. Got you. Well, they're going to be coming around for another swing in a second. I think I can catch them back here. There we go. Got you. Oh, geez. You have to be coming at me from the sun's direction, huh? Alrighty. Eventually, I'll get the hang of the skipping cutscenes buttons. Eventually. I think it's just holding on to start for a long period of time. And I'm just happening to double press it accidentally. I don't know. Um, we're going to bring Mission along for this. And bring Jihani. Because I like Jihani. There we go. And we'll see if Griff is still there, or if something happened. If we get our money or not. You know. All the important stuff like that. Okay, and there's the Zerka office that I needed to go to. Is this it? Yes, this is the Zerka office. And he's not here. You're that friend of Griff, right? He gave me a message for you. I don't like the sound of this. You're right. He told me to tell you that he made a mistake brewing the Terigian Ale. It didn't work out right for some reason. What kind of mistake? He told me the tack land was ruined. And he said he wasn't going to stick around and have to face his exchange contact. You mean he's gone. He hopped on board the last shuttle. I don't know where he was heading, but I can't say I'm sorry he's gone. He was one of the worst employees I ever had. He was always on a break, he mixed up orders, and I think he might have been stealing from me. I have to go after him. People like Griff, they know how to disappear when they get in too deep. You won't hear from him again anytime soon. Waste of time to even bother looking for him. Damn it, Griff. Won't you ever learn? How can my own flesh and blood be so stupid? That's a good question. There was one last thing. He said to tell his sister goodbye. And to tell her he's sorry. <sighs> Welp. Hey there. What can I do for you? 
Let's talk about your brother now. I want to thank you for helping me with Griff. You, you did everything you could for my brother. More than most people would have. Yeah. I know it might look like it didn't make any difference in the end. Griff's in debt and on the run like usual. Mm -hmm. But at least I know we tried to help him. We did. Still looking to get some payback. Um, I, that, that seems all very dark sighting. Uh, don't give up on a mission. He could still change. I know people can change no matter how bad they were, but uh, I'm not holding my breath. That's None fair. of us is perfect, but I've come to realize that Griff is a little less perfect than most. Yeah. He is what he is, but I've learned to deal with that. I'll mm -hmm. never forget that he looked after me when I was just a kid, but I don't feel like I owe him anything anymore. It's a very mature attitude, Mission. I've made my peace with Griff and what he means to me. If he ever shows up again, I'll deal with him. But I'm not going to dwell on my brother anymore. It's time to move forward. So, is there anything else you need? No, I think we're good. Okay, have it your way. Light side points gained. Yay! Does that bring me up? Uh, not as far as I used to be. <laughs> but, hey. At least that mission is over with. Why do I have that? I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Due to his own incompetence... Griff's Terigian Ale deal has turned sour. True to form, he's decided he'd rather disappear than face the wrath of his contact at the exchange. You get the feeling both he and the credits you pr he promised you are gone for good. Yeah, but at least it is over. Also, I noticed HK-47's little thing. Oh, yeah, that's just basically a synopsis of what he told us. Okay, well... We did our damnedest for Griff, and that's all we can hope for. And now we go back to Manan and the next fucking star fight to get there. I shouldn't be cussing near the end of the episode F either. God. Um. Well, most of the off-planet stuff is dealt with. Mission for the Republic. Glupor the Rodian. Firith Me, the Pazak player. Elora Sunri's wife. Ignis, the hotel owner. Sunri's story. Sunri's murder trial. Missing Selkath. Hiring mercenaries. Jihani. Quest for the Star Forge. A wiki lost. Did I never finish that? I guess I never finished that. I guess I have to go back to Kashyyyk. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit, fuck damn it. I guess I never finished that. <laughs> well, I also cussed again. But, I guess I have to go back to Kashyyyk. Okay, well, let's get the star fight over with. As I head back to there. Come on. Okay. Up. Okay, well, I guess there was no star fight. But also, the button to make that thing go, I, I still don't understand how it works. Because I was holding it down, I was then hitting it twice, I was then hitting it like three times, and then held down on the last time. I don't fucking get how it works. I shouldn't be swearing near the end of the episode. Anyway, we're at Kashyyyk. We're going to finish off that one quest and then... But that'll be in the next episode. So, after that, then we'll work on what else we're going to do. Oh boy. Anywho, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to do a whole bunch of quests so I don't have to keep going off of Manan a billion times. And so far, so good. Anyway. Uh... I mean, we finished with the Gina Haradin, we finished with Griff's uh, 
mission's brother. And yeah, so far so good. I think we've finished most everything that needs us to go off planet for. Uh, at least off the main beaten path of the story. So now we just finish up everything that's on Manan, and then we move on to Korriban after that. I think that means we're all good. I think. Don't quote me. I'm probably wrong. But we'll find out. For you.